Buenos Aires. The city seems to be quite European. Many of its people immigrated here from Western Europe in the early 1900s, back when Argentina was one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Yet over time, it's accepted and grown into its Latin American identity. I came here looking for something, a change of any kind at this point. I'm just trying to try new things, I don't know, and see what I like. What's normalized here is what I hope to normalize myself. The city is on the opposite side of the world, from New York. Some things must be different here. I would like to understand the city better, and the people. I will never be Argentinian, but I would like to see the world as they do, and grow into the city rather than being a tourist. I'm already noticing many differences in culture and day-to-day -day life here that are drastically different than how they were in New York. For starters, the city's fucking huge. All of the trees tower over every street. All of the buildings are over 10 floors, and the avenues are notoriously famous for being the widest in the world. What I see is that if Bogota and Barcelona had intercourse and gave their baby steak instead of milk, what would result of it would be Buenos Aires. I'm trying my best to do what locals do, see what they see and eat how they eat. There's something about this city that makes me want to be more romantic. Maybe it's the Mendoza and wine, or the current Argentine autumn. But everyone else seems to be following along, romanticizing life. I think the saying dolce far niente, the Italian originated idea, has been taken here across the Atlantic. It means the joy of doing nothing. That isn't to say one is lazy, but it seems that in Buenos Aires, the simpler things are amongst the most enjoyed. Going for a walk, spending time in the park, drinking at a cafe or bar, or reading. Those all seem to be the most enjoyed things to do here in Buenos Aires. And I really love that idea. As I settle into life in Buenos Aires, I've begun to notice the unique way that Argentinians structure their day. There's a rhythm to the things here that's unfamiliar to me, but fascinating nonetheless. Just as the Italians have their aperitivo, the Argentinians have their own break. Merienda. It's not just a quick bite to eat either. Many restaurants actually offer reservations specifically for merienda. As someone who's used to feeling like I have to earn my breaks, this concept's a bit foreign to me, but in Buenos Aires, it's a natural part of life. Similarly, the idea of eating dinner at 10 p.m. seems late to me, but it's the norm here. Despite my initial feelings of guilt about indulging in these breaks, I've noticed that they bring a sense of joy to the day that spills over into everything else that I do. The joy of doing nothing is celebrated here, and it's infectious. This is exactly what I love about travel. Embracing a new culture and seeing the world from another set of shoes.